Hey, good people, this is Labray. I am here with my brother's good friend, Eric. And uh, we are going to look at my uh, swing set and uh, see how we can turn that into uh, a chicken coop. So uh, let's do it. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, this is it. The uh, And so I'm... Um, uh, thinking about just leaving the top as is and okay. like just it, it's a nice view up there so stand up at the top but like turn because you have experiences with chicken coops i do okay yeah so like what i don't so i'm gonna go with your recommendations like can this well, um my first question is what are you what are, are you trying to keep the functionality of this thing or Functionality. Yeah, dude, they're still gonna be kids playing on it. Oh or? no, there has never been kids playing on this. Okay, thing. so you just want to keep the basic structure of it all. Basic structure. I just want this. If this can be turned into a chicken coop. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Um, that doesn't seem like really a big problem. These oh, amazing. Seem to be pretty good. Um, how many chickens are you gonna have? Um, I'm thinking three to four. Three to four. Okay, so this is a lot of room. And honestly, a chicken basically doesn't need that much space. They, they just, they, the only space that they really need is the space to wander around in the yard. I'm assuming you're gonna have them because it's actually pretty good for your yard too. Yeah, yeah, because I was thinking they're really good for like uh, picking the bugs yeah, from so like the garden and stuff, right? The gardens and stuff, yeah. Uh, they do a lot of insect control and their, uh, their droppings, we'll say, are pretty good fertilizer too, but you gotta, you know, do a little something and I compost. I was gonna put their droppings like in my compost right, and right, right. all that. Okay, so honestly, if you're only gonna have three or four chickens, this whole thing, uh huh, you could probably fit like a hundred chickens. In. Are you serious? Yeah, it's, For them probably, to live like really good lives and stuff. They, I'm telling you, they do not need a lot of room uh, when they're. Oh about, shoot! Yeah, they uh, they'll just roam whenever they want, and when they're inside, they coop up and they try to keep warm. I mean, the only thing that <clears throat> really is the. Uh, temperature you have to have uh, something to deal with your temperatures honestly oh. if you're only gonna have three or four chickens these four posts right here uh-huh it's more than enough room oh, for real yeah. like right here for yeah. them to have their boxes and everything yeah, yeah yeah so you could do even like you can space this out into three or four different spaces or you could do two on one and two on top if you have like some luxury type of stuff but it's not that not that hard you just enclose it because you know there's animals around here that can yeah, like yeah, I had, cause, yeah. so like raccoons, with ca raccoons, raccoons mess with them and stuff. Yeah, raccoons, foxes, coyotes, stuff like that. If you want to keep those out. Okay, um, okay. Yeah, uh, another thing you're going to have to worry about is the fencing. This fencing yeah. here. So there's chicken wire you can buy. It's not that crazy expensive. Okay. You can put it up and just to make sure they don't get out. Sometimes they do leap though, I will say. They do leap, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. It's, it's not really so, the, so this is a pretty easy thing to do. It's not going to be bad, no, not at all. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, because, like, I also have got like I've got this like wood over here, but mm -hmm. pallets may be easier. So, let's. They're, they're already pre-cut in the slats, so I mean, all you have to do is cut them down to size and just basically nail them to the four corners there. Oh, because the pallets will be pretty much the size of what this right here yeah, is anyway. Yeah, it's not that. Oh shoot, so yeah, it's like really easy. Yeah, it's not gonna be that hard. Really, all you need is a cost of nails, and I'm sure there's nails laying around somewhere. Okay, so like, if, oh, wait, there you go. Mm -hmm. Uh, So to like, let, let's go back over here. Yeah, so if the pallets are good enough, then like to keep them warm in the winter time and to like set them up with what they need, all that could be set up just in here. Yeah, so. Chickens are, they can do pretty well in cold temperatures. If you want to have a heat lamp for them too, that's not a bad idea. You could just run an extension cord out. It's not something that has to be done year round. Oh. So during extreme temperatures, you want to keep them off frozen ground. They can actually lose. Oh, toes and stuff? Yeah. If they're... Yeah, because it, it can get pretty bad. So then if they need to be off frozen ground when it mm -hmm. freezes, should this up here be included for them to be up here? So you can have them up there. Honestly, we can build, well, where do you want to access them from? So if, it depends on all, where you want them to come in from. If you want them to come in from this side, we can build the bedding on the outs on the other side. Then we can lift a trap door 
Okay. Like a little, little trap door for eggs and stuff. It makes it real easy for you to collect eggs. That's what that's, that's what I want. Yeah. I want whatever is easy for me. Yeah, yeah no. Whatever sure. that is. I mean, you can even come out with it a little bit. It does It's not crazy. You're not building anything crazy structural. It's not going to be dealing with a lot of weight. Chickens are pretty light birds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, just about anything. I mean, you could go crazy in here. Um, <clears throat> you probably want another, almost probably like an entire side to be removable just so you can get any clean out. Uh, which you, you should probably do a lot in the summer. In the winter time, actually, that, that stuff is best left in there. Oh, for real? Yeah, for, that's for insulation purposes. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, so I want that. Yeah, easy to, like, clean yeah. out. I've seen, yeah. like, structures where there's, like, a mm -hmm. pail. They just, like, kind of pull it out and right, right. scoop it out. Whatever is easy. Yeah. And if I want to expand, because, so, uh, I don't know if you know, I've, uh, I've quit my job oh no kidding yeah congratulations thank you thank yeah, you for real exactly no, you. thank you <laughs> yeah so uh whatever so this may expand okay. to me to like i just came from the farmer's market to who knows like right, right, what right, i might okay. do with it so uh i would like it to be able to like if i want to expand to be able to do more chickens 50 chickens or whatever right, that right. i could easily do that oh, as well i mean this structure will be more than enough. i'm telling you you can fit a lot of chickens in here. Oh, for real? yeah but okay. Is, uh, it came a little prepared. Awesome. Yeah. It's about nine feet. You probably only need a foot per box. Okay. And the chicken itself is probably about a foot and a half, but they don't use all that to, you know, they just need to get in and out. So. And how many boxes do you need per chicken? Oh, just one. Just one yeah, box? Yeah. Well, so oh, each chicken oh. has a box. Yeah, so. Okay. And okay. this side alone, right here, you can fit probably easily 45 chickens. Just, that's just the box. Oh, for real? I could easily fit like 45 boxes here? Yeah. And. So this is nine feet, you go five feet high. Oh, shoot. 45. You know, they're, okay. They're notoriously simple animals to take care of. That's what I want. Yeah, no, yeah. And so. It's the end of August. Can I still get chickens now, or should I wait till next year to get baby you can chicks? Get chickens whenever you want. I, I can. Yeah, they can go to. Uh, there's a tractor supply company. Yeah. yeah. They usually have them. I'm sure you can. Uh, that that actually, I know you can get them whenever you want. I'm not sure if you're trying to get them in with like spring and stuff like that, or. I just like whenever it's like best to start them. I guess I don't really know. I got a manual, like as far as like the keep like. It, like as babies, is it like a whole lot of like upkeep with them? Like at what so, point can I? No, I mean it's they're kind of like little puppies. They're just louder. They need to be warm. Uh, okay. They need food. They're special food. Okay. They have uh, the proper temperature. Okay. And usually you keep them in a box, and they have to be pretty sizable before you can let them outside. Okay. Like they have to have feathers, and they get rid of all their um their I don't know. Called it baby fur, but it's not fur. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah. So they just have to be a little bit more mature and sizable because there are big birds around here and they will oh, carry them. Like, right yeah. exactly yeah, so, yeah sometimes i'm afraid of like the hawks carrying my yeah. cats away yeah, no, yeah, yeah right There's exactly some decent sized hawks around here yeah so. exactly um okay it just depends i mean you have cats inside too i got them got them cats and the cats yeah. i do yeah. and the cats actually come outside okay too so yeah that's gonna be that, I mean, that depends on the cat animal as well, you know. Some some cats are are, are still very, well, I don't know how would you put it. I don't want to say predatory because it seems like a bad word. But yeah, they, right. They still, they still maintain that instinct. Okay. Have you bought you, like, hmm. mice? Do, uh, Does, has your cat ever bought you mice? Have ever brought me mice? Uh, yeah. They've called the one definitely catches mice and actually, yeah. Uh, okay. And there was a, a baby nest here like a couple years ago wow. and uh, the the birds here were trying to fly uh -huh. and one of my cats, the hunter cat, definitely caught one of the birds. And, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, keeping, like I said, as long as you keep the temperature right, uh -huh. it shouldn't be that big. They don't need that much room. They don't need that much room. No, so, so we did a, when we first started out with our chickens, we had a, uh, just a plastic bin. We had 10 chickens. Uh, oh, in a plastic bin? Mm -hmm. the, the baby chickens? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you let them out every once in a while, socialize with them. Oh, yeah, yeah, they yeah. They really, like, get behavioral by your birds, you know, so. Oh. 
some of them uh, do develop personality. Okay. Yeah. We have yeah. Some roosters who just tend to be meaner, so you gotta, that's something you gotta watch out for too. You can only have one rooster. Oh, you can only have oh because they'll fight oh, with yeah. each other. They will very much attack each other. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just doing hands because actually technically I'm not supposed to be having chickens, but okay. I'm like whatever. Yeah. Uh, so I figured that if I could get a quiet, yeah. a few quiet chickens to not bother my neighbors. I believe that there are some species of chicken that are known for being quiet. Okay. And I, I don't know the name off the top of my head. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll look those up. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, it's, we're trying to expand. This thing is, it's fine. It's <laughs> too whatever you needed to and i could close it up so so when i do have the cats out mm -hmm. i could close this up so they're safe and then open it up and it could be safe from predator to food cat at a certain point they're going to be big enough to defend themselves so oh a good cat, like a cat would you just it would have to really want to take that thing down oh okay, like very good my, it's not going to be easy no nah, my cats ain't hardcore like that they'll okay. give up right, a fight right. okay yeah no they're they're pretty big they can get pretty big very nice so you can leave them roaming usually um and they're, uh, they do well in groups. They, they tend to protect each other and stuff too sometimes. Oh, oh really? So oh, really? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, okay. Well, the roosters I know well too, especially. I know you're not trying to have one, but uh, that's, yeah, that's not what we, yet. the roosters took to us as a threat. And when there was little kids playing in our backyard and he would try to attack the little kid. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. To protect you? To, no, protect the other bird. Oh, to protect yeah, the other bird. Protecting the hen. That's oh. his job. Oh, so right. He's, he's worried about them. And oh, he thought we were the threat. You all yeah, were the threat. Yeah. Oh, and, okay, okay. So, like I said, they're, you know, as long as you have a lot of them, you'll, you'll hear a noise. They'll, mm -hmm. they'll act up when there's danger around. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So okay. Like I said, you might, some of the fencing is some of the stuff that you want to look out because they do wander. Okay, okay. You might start getting phone calls about, hey, I've got a chicken. A chicken in my yard. And, uh, it happens. And like I said, they do jump too. So even if I fix this fence, mm -hmm. they can easily just jump this fence. They might be able to. Mm hmm Okay. It's just something that I, I don't want you to I'll take not, that chance. not know anything or not know that they can jump. Like that's a that's that's a, that's a thing. Yeah. Okay, I'll take that chance. Yeah, I'll take that chance. Okay. Okay. Thank you, mm -hmm. Eric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh Wait, yeah, so for me to understand completely and let me think for like my audience what questions they may have. Okay, so for it to be like the easiest for me, like where would the boxes be? Where would I clean okay, their so, boxes? Because I just only clean the boxes. Uh, no, you would clean the floor in it too. It's oh, okay. Like everything they drop goes on the floor. They don't have a special little space or anything like that. They just go where, wherever. Uh, wherever. Yeah, wherever okay. walking. So you might catch them on your patio. Uh, if you let them inside your house, they don't, they don't have that training. Ah, uh, yeah. I got you. Yeah, so okay. they just go. So whatever floor you put on it, you're going to want to scrape out. Okay. Because at a certain point, it becomes non-hygienic for them. Oh, uh, right. So there, there's an actual benefit to cleaning it out. Okay, okay. Um, like I said, in the wintertime, though, you might want to ease up off of that because it is, it's a, it's more of a thermal thing. you got to keep the heat in, and that helps okay. keep heat in. Okay, okay. Um, okay, so as far as your... Um, your question was where would you want everything and that kind of depends a lot on what you want to do um if we can get rid of these absolutely those two yeah absolutely um, that would basically give you the option to uh-huh put a door on this side for them to walk in and out the door right here yeah uh -huh. you can put like a little sliding door oh awesome so when they go in at night you slide it closed and uh -huh. nothing can get in or out that's smart enough to open a door perfect yeah okay and on the other side you could put in the like a, it's like a trap door that you can that you can open and access. Uh, you can access the boxes. So okay, so this would be gone, yeah. and that is, this would be that not the trap door. What did you call this? What would be here? Well, yeah, like a, I, I guess almost a trap door, but uh, oh, okay. I can't think of a proper name for it right now. Like a, a latch or mm. just a big swinging door. And this is where I would come to clean and to get the eggs. So. The easiest thing to do would probably be you want them together a little bit. Okay. It's probably to build uh, their access door on the other side and your access on this side. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Just, uh, two doors, and you know if you get them tight enough, it's it's plenty of insulation for them. 
they, they keep warm with their feathers and they keep cool that way as well. So in this space, what's the maximum amount of chickens I can have in this space? You probably need about, I mean, depending on how much room you want them to have. Yeah, I, I do yeah. want them, I want them to have a nice luxurious uh, okay, stay here. You probably do about 10, 15. 10 yeah, for, yeah, and yeah. they'll be living in luxury. Yeah, they'll be okay. Whoa, that's amazing that's in this space. Yeah. Dude, I had no idea. I had no idea. I thought at the most, I thought four would be too tight for them right here. No, no, no. Oh, oh. You are, well, I'm guessing you want like a free roaming type chicken. I do, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I want them to get to know the garden, you know. Yeah. Please eat the worms from the garden. No, yeah, I mean, yeah, they definitely like... have all the space. They, I'm telling you, they only go in there to like cool off or, or sleep, rest, lay eggs. Okay. And they don't, they're they're out and about animals. They don't like to be. They don't like to. You know, no, yeah, no, they're not homebodies. No, no, they just when they sleep and and they uh, leave okay. when they're inside. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. So, oh, so they don't need that much space not to sleep and stuff. No, not really. They don't. They don't require a lot. And mm. so, would a bar be like placed in here, like for the boxes? Like, where would the their boxes so, be? You build up on uh, the way I would have it thought out, probably. Uh huh. I'd, I'd probably think about you probably put a plank here. Okay. You could either fit the four boxes right next to each other. Oh, wow. Or you can separate them two and two. It'd probably be best to separate them two and two now that I'm really looking at it. And so, if the boxes are on the ground, does that mean that their bed is not on the floor then? So, that kind of helps with that? It, it does. Um, usually you put a little hay in there. You want something that's not just the wood. It's, it's just, I don't know. Like, okay. You almost feel more comfortable giving them something to lay on, you know? Okay. You don't want like a blanket or anything like that because it's just going to get crap all over it. Oh, uh, so, yeah. You're going to have like, to. Straw, stuff that's easy to clean out. Oh, uh, yeah. The biodegradable can go on my compost easily. Exactly, mm-hmm. So, the uh, two boxes and then the access panel would be on this side. Right. And then you could just unlatch we could put a couple latches and a hinge down at the bottom you could unlatch it lay it down grab the eggs clean out okay shut it back up and then the only thing that would be left open would be the door everything else gets sealed off everybody everything else would look something like this so where would the food be so Your food um depending on how you like the system that you want to use some people use troughs they sell um feed cans okay and that's what we use and it's just the easiest to do you go Dude, in you yeah. fill it you uh, fill it up it's kind of like a jar you fill okay. it up, you turn it upside down and then like it's gravity fed so you don't have to do it every day so i have seen and this is years ago when i was like um mm -hmm. looking up like how to do a chicken coop and everything mm -hmm. that uh people were concerned with like mice and food with from the chickens is that a concern so yeah um because they eat, tend to eat grain and stuff like that mice can eat that too but there's also natural deterrents that you can use for that oh so chickens don't have the receptors or i don't uh they don't have the receptors for spicy things but mice do so some people put chili powder in it oh for real yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and that, that helps deter other small rodents from grabbing it because it's, it's mammalian like it's, yeah that's a good tip there. Yeah, come on, yeah, come yeah. on. I, I I need a like for that one, y'all. Give me a like for that one. For real, that's a good tip. Dog, I've, I've not seen that tip anywhere online, by the way. Uh, doesn't mean it's not there, but I haven't uh, seen I'm it. Sure it is, so oh, I'm sure it is. Oh, yeah. okay. No, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, like I said, because there, there is mice around. You know, that, that is something that you want to be uh, mindful of. the chickens and the cats, you're not going to have a lot of rodents, you know. Okay, that's yeah. cool. Okay, yeah. Probably won't. Yeah. Cause I got my cats and then and there are stray cats that have come oh, to my and, yard. And they're all patrolled then, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So hopefully, but the chickens they will get to a certain size that so they will be able to defend themselves even against these stray cats I mean, that I have coming in here. Defend themselves or run. Or run. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so like I said, well, I hope they're okay. Yeah, no, no, they'll, they'll be fine. fine. They're chickens. So okay. They got to be good. They'll be good. Okay. Okay. So and so the food would mm -hmm. the food go. In here? So, yeah, the feed jar usually has a string attached to the top of it, and you can just hang it. Okay. Yeah, uh, you could leave it on the floor, but once again, they just kind of, I mean, they're going to make a mess anyway. That's the stuff you want to clean out. Um, usually keep your feed indoors. Okay, in yeah. Because you don't want the rest of the animals to come and grab it. Exactly. You start feeding other birds, and I, you don't want to, like. Yeah, no, they already got my sunflowers and yeah, stuff. They got enough to eat. Oh, exactly. Yeah, right. Yeah, for real.
So yes. yeah, and uh, water too. Water has to be changed out every day. Every day, water every day yeah. changed out. Oh, you that's do, good like, to know. Water. I mean, there are birds and they can survive off of like puddles and stuff, but you know, you want to you want clean animals. You just take it's just like absolutely a, like a, like a nice thing to do for the for the birds. But uh, yeah, they're like they're notoriously simple birds. Okay. They're, yeah, they're pretty pretty cool. Like I said, some of them develop personality too. Okay. Uh, yeah, because I read about like the pecking order, like yeah. and all that, and very much so. Yeah. Really? Yeah. There's a there's a big one usually in charge. <laughs> That's for sure. Huh. Yeah. Okay. But uh, yeah. So okay. whatever else you want to do is completely doable. Okay. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay. Uh. All right, y'all. So uh, when this becomes the chicken coop and uh, I get my chickens, I'll keep y'all updated. So uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Make a comment. If you all have like experiences, you have a chicken coop, come on, you know, uh, we're a learning community. We learn with each other. So uh, let's do this and be blessed. Okay, bye.